Hey guys, this is MacHeads101 here today. Uh, this is going to be a brief iMovie tutorial. So, if you've got an iLife 08 on your computer, um, so this is iLife 2008, um, you can uh, use something called iMovie. This is a pretty simple application. Uh, hopefully, you'll figure it out right away. But if you haven't, here's how to use it. First of all, you want to go up to File. Um, at the top of the iMovie menu and click New Project. And um, you can either set it to widescreen, standard, or iPhone. Uh, widescreen is what I prefer to do. Uh, so I'll just create it and call it New Project. You can rename it by clicking it and then waiting a few seconds and then clicking it again. Um, so say I want to import a, um, a video file I've created somewhere else. I can um, go up to File import movies and then I can go into say in documents um, I can import uh, just a crappy little video something um, like mm, a video it will uh, take a few minutes but it'll import um, really quickly normally so it says about three minutes remaining to generate thumbnails um, because this is going to take a long time I'll just uh, do a cut here as it loads Okay, so now it's almost done um, importing. So um, just watch. After it imports, um, it'll stop loading, and your clip will appear here. This is a pretty long clip. Um, so you can just click your mouse and drag, and you'll see this little yellow thing following your mouse around. And you'll hear and see what's going on on the screen as you move your mouse around. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can just get it cut to the exact right spot. Life is short. Goodbye. And then you can just grab the yellow part that you've highlighted, drag it right into iMovie, right up here. And now this is going to be what's part of your video. So now you can click and drag content uh, like this little bit of yellow and click the delete key. And I'll delete that. Now this is two separate cl clips. Um, say I want to trim the end, I just click this, and then any part in the yellow is the part that's currently selected, so I'll just delete that. Um, I can delete random parts, like I can just go like this. Okay, also um, there are another cool features. Um, you can insert transitions, so I'll go into, you press this little button right here, and um, then you can select a transition, I'll just do cube and you drag it between two clips so um, in order to make two clips like I said you can either select a section you want to be a separate click and clip and then hold click hold control while clicking that yellow selection part and then click split clip and now this is one separate clip then I'll just drag a transition right into there and so now and go down to you arrange by etc. Yeah, exactly. So now I've just added a transition right here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I can also add text to a specific clip. So I'll make this a clip right here. Hold control while clicking it and then split clip to split the clip. And then I'll just click this little big T right here. Um, and now I want to drag in the type of text I would like. I want gradient white. So I'll just drag that right in here. Now you can edit the title text like hi, hi, and the subtitle text, Dave. Now I'll just click right here. So now we can play this. Zip folder or file, new Excel, right there. new text document, new short. That's pretty cool. And to edit the text, once again, you can just click this little blue bubble. Type it. And we can even drag this around Grab right here and make it shorter or longer. So that's how to do this. I'll just click it and click delete to delete that. You can press Apple Z to undo. I'll just make this go back to normal by pressing Apple Z a bunch of times. Let's get back everything I deleted. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can also um, add, let's find a good image. Right here, I've got a good one. Just a little spiral. Right here. So you just want to find a good image that you like. Let's just take this one of the Apple Store, drag it right there. 
Short no, word, goodbye. This is a really creepy little thing. Hope no one sues me for having the face in there. Life is short. Goodbye. Um, you can also add music. This is just all your iTunes music. I'll drag in TNT. And you can drag it into a specific clip. Like, um, say I split this clip. I can drag the song right into there. Add it to that clip. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then I can just drag the music clip around, make it long. Want to force quit? Okay, now say I don't want to be hear myself talking at all. I can just drag that selection, hold control, or just drag over that selection, split the clip. Now if that's a separate clip, now I can go up to the volume button on on any clip. At the beginning of every clip, you'll see these few controls when you move your mouse over it. You can just click the volume button, and then I'll just turn down the volume on that and click done. So now, just go into force quick. But you will be able to hear the music. There's also um, voiceover. So right here on the Mac, it's easy to make things start working again. I'm just saying something dumb right there, which I don't want to be saying. So I can just click this little microphone button right here, and then I set the input volume, the voice enhancement, all this crud I can set, and then I can just click wherever on the clip I want to start recording over, like right here, and it'll count down from three, and then I can start talking. You don't really care about what I'm saying anyway, I mean, this is totally dumb. But Okay, so now... You don't really care about what I'm saying anyway. I mean, this is totally dumb. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So I've just done that, even though that's totally dumb. So, um, I can even do, like, voiceover, like, right here. Just click. Sorry, if you can't hear what I'm saying right here, you should be pretty annoyed at me. So, uh, yeah, thanks and goodbye. I close that little voiceover window so it stopped recording. Sorry, if you can't hear what I'm saying right here, you should be pretty annoyed at me. So, uh, yeah, thanks and goodbye. And now, now I'll split this clip right here. And turn its volume a little down, so I'll click the volume control. Turn it down. This is a really annoying video now. Starting. Sorry, if you can't hear what I'm saying right here, you should be pretty annoyed at me. So, uh, yeah, thanks and goodbye. Okay, so now. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So, you no, know, I can add music. I've showed you how to add music. I've showed you how to add pictures. Showed you how to add text. Showed you how to add transitions. It's all it's all based on separate clips. Like once again, click, drag the yellow part over, hold Control while click, and then click split clip. Now let's go over exporting. If you go up to share, you can export it to YouTube and add a YouTube account. Um, then you want to sign in, click allow, type your username and password, and all this other crud that's sort of, you know, dumb, stupid. And of course, you can just export movie, and then you can make it a medium. Um, Mobile and medium are both good for YouTube videos. Um, I prefer to do medium because it's um, a lot better and nicer quality. I can just call it whatever I want to and export it to uh, my desktop. And I'll just click export and it'll take a while to export so I'll do a cut. Okay, so as you can see, it's just about done exporting the movie. Now it's complete. So now on my desktop, I've exported it to my desktop. Is this M4V file? I can open it up. It'll open up in iTunes. Um, and then Back I can play it. One today. So this is my beautiful creation. That's not good. So I'll just delete that. So that's how to use iMovie to make a simple movie. Um, you can also right here is a video camera button. You can open that up. And film yourself. So, 
Right now you can see my lights are kind of dim and the camera on my computer is not very good. But you can click capture and I'll just film you and you can make a new event. This is a short cruddy event. Yeah. Then I'll stop. No, let's see. Done. It'll process the event event and it'll add it down here. Then I can just you know drag my mouse around there, drag it in. Okay. And this there is it is. So that's pretty cool. So um thank you for watching Mac Heads. Uh subscribe and the goodbye.